Welcome to PC Mac. Today I'm going to show you how you can run Netflix on your Raspberry Pi. In my last video, I have shown you that how you can install Android TV on your Raspberry Pi. Now we will try to install a Netflix and I'll show you how it can work perfectly on your Raspberry Pi Model 3B. Before starting this video, you can visit the website. The link is right here pcmac.biz forward slash Netflix on Raspberry Pi dot HTML and I have documented all the download links right here so you can download the Netflix APK from here and install it on your machine and if you like my work please do subscribe to my channel and support us on patreon.com so let's do it Now we are on the Android screen as you can see the content is loaded up on the screen. Now what we need to do is we need to install the Netflix app from a USB drive. I have already inserted the USB drive to my Raspberry Pi with the content on that. So what we need to do is go to the top right corner and navigate to SanDisk USB drive and from here we need to install the Netflix APK it will take a moment so what we need to do is we need to make some changes to our settings and we need to allow unknown sources so from settings and we need to allow the setting from here unknown sources and OK and then we need to go back let's just try one more time so Netflix is installing on the computer on the Raspberry Pi but as you all know that the Raspberry Pi has limited configuration so what we need to do is we need to change some settings on our Raspberry Pi that will help us to run Netflix easily on a Raspberry Pi. So let's just click on open to show you whether the Netflix is working or not. Then after that I will change the settings. So the Netflix is now up on a Raspberry Pi. What we need to do is we need to sign in. Let me just go ahead and do that. So we have successfully signed in to our Netflix account as you can see PC Mac. Let's just go ahead and log in. Okay, I'll just try to play this one. And as you can see, it's working. So let's just go back and try to make some changes. Now we are right here. What we need to do, we need to disable these apps which are not required. That is like Google Play, Google Play Music, Games, Live Channels. These apps need to be disabled. So we will have some RAM on our Raspberry Pi. Let's just go and go to settings again. And then move down to apps. And we need to disable these apps one by one. Let's just go ahead and live channels and for stop okay and disable let me just do that really quick now once we do that what we need to do is again we need to go into settings and we need to go into our developer options and then click on build number now we are the developer so what we need to do is again click here on the top left corner and then move down to developer options and from here we need to make some changes what we need to do is we need to go down and we need to look for this setting that is windows animation scale hit enter and turn it off then transition animation scale 
you need to turn this one off as well animator this one also turned off and that will be it now we just need to restart our machine by pressing the F5 key and restart so now we are back here on our Android screen and what we did here is we restrict all the animation of Android to run on our Raspberry Pi because of that it will have some RAM to run other applications like YouTube or Netflix so let's just go ahead and try to run YouTube now and check whether it's working fine or not now by default because of my internet speed it take it to 1080 and as you already know that Raspberry Pi will not able to play 1080 so what we try to do is make it to 720 and it will run absolutely fine as you can see now it's working absolutely fine now let's just go back now we have already installed the Netflix here but we are not able to see the Netflix icon here so let me just put the Netflix icon on the screen now to resolve the problem with the shortcuts what we need to do we need to install one more app that is side load launcher once we install this side load launcher what you need to do is just click on it and it will bring all the applications for you which are installed on the Raspberry Pi and from here you can go ahead and open the Netflix now as all now as you all know that the configuration of Raspberry Pi is low that's why it's not able to play the HD and Ultra HD videos so if you have a ST plan you can be able to play these videos successfully on your Raspberry Pi otherwise the Raspberry Pi will not able to play the videos it will be blur when you get the internet speed on your Raspberry Pi so guys that's it from my end if you have any questions you can write them down in the comment section I'll try to answer them if you like my work please go and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day